Hello, camper. There are four species of banana slugs. They can be found all along the Pacific coast, with one species living all the way in Costa Rica. Today, we're going to be talking about specifically the Pacific banana slug. You can tell it is this species by the dark green spots. It kind of looks like a rotten banana. They can move six and a half inches per minute. This clip is sped up 400 times, and it's still moving rather slow. Banana slugs can live up to seven years old. Their eyes are tentacles with the upper pair sensing light and the lower pair sensing smell. But they don't actually breathe from those feelers. This is where they actually breathe from. It's called a pneumostome. It is basically a nostril that they can open and close when they want. They only have one of them because the slugs only have one lung. They also only have one foot. It's the entire bottom side of the slug. Using many muscle movements, they push themselves forward. Did you see it? Probably not, but let's speed it up and zoom in. That is one of the many reasons they make so much sticky goo. It helps them glide along easier, helps them climb up walls, and protects their delicate skin. They will also cover themselves in a thick layer of mucus when it is too hot for them, which means they go dormant during the summer months, which is called estivation. Being dormant in the winter months is called hibernation. Estivation. Hibernation. The slime also protects them by carrying a numbing agent. So when animals try to eat them, it says stay away. The slime does so many cool different things. Probably the most important thing it does is contain pheromones. Which is a smelly chemical to attract mates. All slugs are hermaphrodites, meaning they are both female and male at the same time. So when they meet up with their new slug partner, they both become pregnant and can lay up to 75 eggs. Everything about the slug is... So unusual. Slugs lick up their food with a grippy tongue called a redula. This is what it looks like under a microscope. It feels much like a cat tongue. And what do they eat? Well, you probably heard of carnivores who eat meat. Herbivores that eat plants. But slugs are neither. They are detritivores, meaning they eat dead and alive plant matter, moss, and animal droppings. Their digestive system breaks it down and recycles it all back to the earth. If you're wondering, humans are omnivores. We eat meat and plants. Although they're tiny and a bit slow, they have so many unique things about them. We hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Remember, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints.